Y'all can stop me now. Valentine. <laughs> oh, but uh, what happened to the bus? What? Did they hit somebody? Oh my gosh. Everybody's off the bus. Anyway, I don't have time to see what's going on. I'm sorry, I didn't have my camera turned or flipped. Uh, but I want to wish all a happy valentine's day i know this is short i'm on my way to work and uh, i want to thank y'all for rocking with me y'all know i love you you know i do and also today is day well i can't tell y'all what day it is for my juice because i'm about to i'm about to put up uh another video tomorrow so i don't want to get y'all confused but I have my juice, my celery juice, and I'm feeling great. Besides allergies, um, I sprayed on my perfume this morning, and um, I'm wearing exclamation this morning. And um, I love that perfume, but right now my allergies is jacking up. So. It is 9, uh, 9.40. I have 20 minutes to get to work. It ain't gonna happen. I could probably make it there maybe 25 minutes. But, uh, we shall see. Um, this person can get over it. I'm just jumping on the freeway right now. And um, it is 62 degrees this morning at 9.40. So, it probably get a little warm, but the problem is, uh, if I leave out the shop later, and it's cooler at night, or, you know, it's, it's cool. So, yeah, I almost messed up and told y'all what day I was on. But if y'all been following, what is that sewer smell? Ugh. But if you guys have been following me, you pretty much know where I am because today is Valentine's, February 14th. And I'm still promising y'all to sit down. Y'all talk about this celery juice. Um, and, uh, and talk about when I'm going to start another round. Um, we probably going to be doing at least... I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to, I'm gonna probably at least try to do four rounds of 30 days, but I'm gonna take off a few days in between because I, I just want to see what I'm feeling like. Um, I'm pretty sure as I do each round, I probably uh, get more results. Now, I have not been on a scale in... I really don't feel like I've lost any weight, but my main reason to do this celery juice is for high blood pressure. Um, weight loss will come when it comes, but I know with weight loss you must, your body has to be functioning right to lose weight as, um, to lose weight pretty much if your body is working right, you can lose weight and lose weight permanently. If it's just some quick fix, a quick diet, a quick a quick fat, most likely once you stop it, the weight is going to come back and most times you're going to gain a few more pounds after you lost the, the weight. I mean, I already know that, but now I come to terms that I need to heal my body 
get my body working correctly, get my body working the best it can at age 57. I'm going to be 58 this year. And, um, you know, it, it took time. We all go through that yo-yo dieting, trying fad diets or whatever. Um, I'm, I, I last the diet I was on, I'm not going to say diet, but it was keto. Of course, they use the diet word and, you know, it has the word D-I-N, diet. So, I <sighs> most likely we're, we're dying when we're not eating right. So, I came to term when I did the celery juice from day one or maybe a few days before that I was just going to eat what I eat and proportion it. Um, I forgot my lunch, but it's okay. Um, I'm going to make, um, I'm going to go home tonight and make some chicken noodle soup. Now, I'm going to use um, the rotisserie chicken. Um, the last rotisserie chicken I bought, I still have more of it, so I'm going to take that and shred that. And what else? But pretty much, I just eat what I want to eat, and I am just make sure I'm proportionate now. I was always a big rice eater because we have rice for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, I'm not going to tell you my mom's background because we never did a DNA test. We're not sure about the background, but anywho, we did rice, breakfast, lunch, dinner. Rice was in our life. The only thing I did different was I went from brown. I went to brown rice from regular long grain rice. Um, and I used to eat a lot of rice. It's, it's crazy. I mean, but now. I'm telling y'all, since I've been doing a celery juice, the only thing wrong right now is that I'm craving sugar. And I've never been a candy eater. I, I, I've just never been that kind of eater that eat a lot of, I've been eating a lot of um, hard candies like the cinnamon, the uh, peppermints, um, the butterscotch, Yesterday when I was at work, I think I just had one. And I believe I picked the butterscotch. Oh, I know. My customer gave me some ginger candy. Um, I ate three pieces of that. But when the beginning, oh my gosh, I was like, I was trying to eat up all the candy that I, I have there displayed for my clients. So I really don't know what that is about. But my feeling is my body is my body must be dumping sugar or something and I want to eat it or something's going on from day one something's been going on and right now I don't feel any difference I don't notice any difference but um, they said it's still working um, even if you don't notice any difference now, my allergies were so bad night before last, I was like up half the night, night before last, just going crazy. And of course I have my roll of toilet paper. I ain't got no shame on it right there in the bed with me. I, was, I share my bed with my laptop and a roll of toilet paper. When I got up that morning, I had so many, many balls of toilet paper. So I'm dumping off my bed, taking off my bed when I get up. Last night, oh, let me tell you, when I went to work yesterday, my allergies was, was okay. And when I got into the salon, my allergies was like just clear. I was fine. Soon as I, after work, I get in my car, my allergy starts again. But last night, or actually when I woke up this morning, I had only two balls of tissue. So anyway. Now this morning I spray my perfume 
and or cologne or whatever and my allergy started from that i feel a little plugged up on this side a little bit <clears throat> i was really tmi i was really gassy yesterday day before yesterday no yesterday and it was because the night before last i had chili i was like duh you have some beans in the chili the homemade chili I made a few weeks back and I froze half of it so I took it out two nights ago and, and ground, uh, ground and cooked um, some more ground beef and added to the other half so it was very meaty so I still have some in the freezer and some have some in the refrigerator I think that's about it that's about as always have a great Valentine's Day I hope each and every one of my newsies had an awesome Valentine's Day because um, this is not going up till I get home from work and the day will probably be gone but as always y'all know I love y'all y'all know I do and Go ahead and subscribe it's free it's always free and if i can say i love you you can definitely love yourself 